gentlemen, and welcome to the show. And I'd like to give a very, very special welcome to my fan club here tonight. Lovely. Where's he sitting? Over there. Oh, <laughs> Mark. How do you do, sir? You haven't got a lot, but by golly, he is loyal, isn't he? Yes. He is loyal. He's come all the way from Carlisle. On the handcart, wasn't it? Yes. I think it's fantastic, <laughs> huh? He appreciates talent. You can see that. Look at him, hard and fast asleep. It's marvellous. <laughs> Mind you, I must be honest. What? You're not the only one here with a fan, you know. You, you've got a fan? Oh, yeah. Is it your mother? No, no, she's gone off me, my mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, that. No, it's the guest star of our show, you know. Guest star of the show? He's watched us now. Yeah. Every week for the last 64 years. And he has said, he has said in public, yes. that he would very much like to meet the, the star of the show. You, the star of the show? Thank you. <laughs> you, the star... Look at me when I'm talking to you. Eh? You, the star... I was going to use that later on. <laughs> You're not the star of the show. Quick, think not. What? You're not the star of the show. His words are not mine. He is yeah. now stood at the back. Stood at the back, shaking yeah. at the thought of having to meet me. Yeah, never. I'm telling you. Well, who is it? I'll tell you. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, could we have a reasonably warm welcome <laughs> for our special guest star, Mr. Arthur Lowe. <laughs> Mr. Arthur Lowe, I must say it really is a great pleasure to have you on our little show, Arthur. Really? Not at all. Thank you very much indeed for asking me to be on your show. Oh. <laughs> it's our pleasure. We work with anybody. Anybody. <laughs> what we? <laughs> I believe you're anxious to meet the star of the show. Yes, yes, I am indeed. Yeah, well, may I introduce Mr. Eric Morecambe? Uh, oh. Are you Mr. Eric Morecambe? I don't know. I'll have a quick look. <laughs> <laughs> I do them all. I do these as well, you know. <laughs> Every guy. Don't take any notice of him, Arthur. Just because he thinks he's the star of the show, thinks he has to say something funny. Well, when he does, I laugh, I can assure you. <laughs> <laughs> and now, uh, could, I, could I meet the star, please? The star? Well, you've met me once, but yeah. I'll go off and come on again, if you like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> Who are you? Seems to be some confusion Some confusion? Oh, I know what the confusion is. Yes? It's me he wants to meet. I think I'm the star of the show. Rubbish. Yes, he does. Rubbish. Now, look, I'm very, very keen to meet the star of the show because I think she's a charming young lady. You're right, it is you. you... <laughs> charming young... I'm not with you. The you lady one... who comes down at the end. The one who... You... with the... Yeah. The oh, No! Oh, oh, just... her, of course. She's the star of the show? She is for me. Oh, I can't... Has she arrived? I should think so. There's a breakdown wagon in the car park. <laughs> Which dressing room is she in, Eric? Four, five, and six, as always. <laughs> and you really want to meet her, Arthur? That delightful young lady is the only reason that I've agreed to come on your show. Now, is she here? <laughs> She's coming along the corner now. <laughs> Indian file. Really? Yes. With Tonto. <laughs> <laughs> then, then you shall meet her. You definitely shall meet her. Ladies and gentlemen, for our special guest star, Mr. Arthur Lowe, let's give a warm welcome for the lady who comes down at the end. Lovely idea. <laughs> I'd like to thank all of you for watching me and my little show here tonight. If you've enjoyed it, then it's all been worthwhile. So until we meet again, good night, and I love you all. <laughs> Charming, charming. Charming. That's all she ever says in the show, you know. Oh, no matter, no matter. To me, it's poetry. Poetry. Introduce us to you. Eric, introduce us. Certainly. Lady who comes down at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to meet a, a young man who fell down half an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Arthur Love. Madam, I shall cherish this I'd moment. I'd like to thank you. all of you. <laughs> Show here tonight. So until we meet again, oh, good night, and I love you all. Wow. <laughs> oh, entrancing! Mere words. Yes. She makes them sound like music. Oh. He's really hooked, you know. And you can't blame him. No. I really am delighted to be on the show with this young lady. Mm. Now she will be appearing in the play we're going to do, won't she? Ah. I'm afraid not. No, the play that we're going to do is a drama of the high seas entitled Mutiny on the Bounty, and there's no place on the ship for a woman. Sorry. But surely you can find a part for her. Oh, Out me. of oh. the question. I have spoken. The author has spoken. Oh. <clears throat> well, in that case, if she's not appearing on the play, neither am I. Arthur has spoken. Yeah. <laughs> I'll write her in. I'll write her in. <laughs> I'm sure she's a wonderful little actress. I'd like to thank.
thanked all of you. I have a show here tonight. So until we meet again, good night, and I love you all. Oh, what an easy day for me, then. Oh. <laughs> well, let's settle then. This young lady will be appearing in the play. You can rest insured. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, as there is... As there is some little time before the, before the play commences, perhaps you would honour me by accompanying me to Miss Tasker's tea room round the corner. Mm. Cup of tea, pot of tea for two, mm. cucumber sandwiches yes. for one. <laughs> Must watch my weight, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Certainly, certainly, certainly. I'd like to thank all of you for watching me and my little show. <laughs> She really turns oh, him on. Well, she's got him. She's got him. No yeah. argument about that. How am I going to write her in my play? Well, it all depends. How much ink have you got left in your pen? <laughs> about a gallon. It's not enough. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Ball. 